with graphic design, I have discovered that I really do need some math skills for that, especially for this project that I'm working on right now. Um, for this project, what I want to do is I'm adding three pillars to it, which I want each of my pillars to be centered with the paper, and I want them each to be about the same distance apart from each other. So that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you my math, what I did. So we're going to start with the middle one, which right here it is. So how I got the middle one was the paper size is an 11 by 17. So what I did is I divided 17 by 2, which gave me about 8.5, which I knew that was my center point for my middle pillar. So I went ahead and added my, I need to add a guideline in. So I'm going to go about right to 8.5 which is about right there. So that is my center guideline for that one, which that will help me with centering other stuff with this project. So I went ahead and did that. So then that is my middle pillar. So then what I needed to do is for my next, I'm going to start with this pillar. So for my next one, what I did is I knew that for each of my outside pillars, I wanted about a one inch margin. That was just what I wanted to know. So what I did is I went ahead and I did 8.5 divided by 3.8, and where I got that 3.8 was because the width of this, the longest bar on the top, is about 3.8. So I divided those two, which gave me around a 2.2, 2.3, around that. So what I wanted to do then is I added a 1 to that to give me that 1, one inch margin, which gave me about a 3.2 then. So for that guideline... I just want to go ahead and add that. So it's a little bit, it's right about three is my center guideline for this one. And so then I wanted to go ahead and do the same thing for my other one, which I was about at a one inch margin again. And I did, because this width was the same one, about a 3.2. So I knew that this center guideline would be, I did the same math for this one as, if I can get my guideline here. There we go. Which I did the same math for this one as I did for the other one, which gave me around a 14-ish, 14.2-ish. So that was that guideline. So I have all three of mine centered, and the distance in between is the same. Thank you for watching about my guidelines, and this is my step for making the pillars the same distance and centered.